Back in with Weather Authority, Erica Bratin. Good evening, Erica. Good evening, Taryn. Well, we are seeing those low clouds sneaking back into our area tonight but we're also watching that rain. So let's go ahead and break that down for you. I am starting to see some of this rain move in around 11. Now this is just one model, so I do think we could see some spots of rain happening just to the northern part of our viewing area. And I think this could start around 11 to the midnight hour, but we're gonna continue to see some of these light rain showers through the overnight hours. Again, we better chance of those rain showers really to the north and closer to the coast, but it's not to say we won't have maybe one or two pop up to the south of us on Sunday morning. But some good news, that rain is just through the overnight hours. So tomorrow we're looking at more sunshine out there, plenty of it across the central coast and really in our inland locations as well, that marine layer really pushing back out. So we will have another beautiful Sunday to look forward to. Temperatures will be fall-like like what we were seeing today. And we will have a few of those low clouds sneaking in tomorrow night into Monday. Now. You probably are outside, and if you are in some of those low clouds, you're probably seeing some drizzle and even patchy fog out there. I did get a report that we are seeing some drizzle in Salinas already. So this total could actually be from some of that drizzle, but I also think this is some of the rainfall totals we could see. Very light rainfall, not a lot, but hey, we will take anything we can get. Now we do have a little change on Monday when we see this rain kind of push out of our area, that cold front move out. We are going to see the return of of some offshore flow, which means warmer temperatures for our coastal locations. It's gonna get hot inland yet again, but this also means that there's a fire alert because of those gusty winds. This is really for the Diablo range, so just east of Gilroy and Morgan Hill. This takes place Sunday at 11 p.m. and goes until Tuesday, 11 a.m. This is for anything above 1,000 feet. Again, gusty offshore winds, dry conditions, dry fuel still up in those areas that really aren't going to see any rain. now. Our inland locations also not seeing the chance of rain. They're gonna just, it's just not going to make it into our inland locations. We will see some scattered high clouds though out of it. Here's what we're seeing though. Temperatures tomorrow, we're, it's gonna be a nice one for the Santa Cruz mountains, upper 70s to low 80s out there, 72 for Santa Cruz. And we're gonna see some 60s around some areas like Davenport and Bonnie Dune, 68 tomorrow out there. We're gonna have a mix of 60s and 70s along the coast yet again tomorrow, 71 for Salinas. Little warmer in the Santa Clara Valley. We're looking at those mid to upper 70s and Hollister 76. Marina 67. So yes, we're still going to see those 60s even for the Monterey Peninsula tomorrow. A little warmer in Monterey though. 70 out there for Monterey. 68 for Carmel by the Sea. 67 for Pacific Grove. And up and down the Salinas Valley comfortable 70s out there tomorrow. Low to mid 70s. A little warmer as we head south into southern Monterey County. 78 for King City. And we will see some of those 80s out there for the far parts of that county and of course Carmel Valley 73 so very comfortable temperatures out there again a little bit cooler than what we tend to see this time of year and I do expect to see a slight chance of those showers through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning I do think we could even see some again patchy fog and drizzle and it is going to be a, a bit breezy as the system passes through we will see those low clouds slowly gradually slip away way into tomorrow and then by tomorrow afternoon we'll see some sunshine out there and that's going to be the trend leading into next week we will have a little bit of a warm-up look at that Tuesday nice day along the coast just a great way to end summer before fall which is Wednesday for our inland locations again not going to see any rain out of this it, just there's just really not a chance of it happening. We are going to see mostly sunny skies out there for our inland locations tomorrow. Temperatures still comfortable before we warm up. Tuesday is going to be a hot one, some upper 80s, maybe even some 90s for southern Monterey County. So Tuesday, again, great way to end the summer before we head into fall on Wednesday.